Do you know what the difference is between law and grace? Well, let's look at law first. Law is the old covenant of law. It's a legally binding agreement that was made between God and Israel. And that agreement, that old covenant of law, was also a marriage, making God the husband and Israel the wife. Isaiah 54, verse 3 and 4. So the law is an old covenant agreement. The heart of the law is the Ten Commandments. Every agreement has requirements. The Ten Commandments are the requirements, obligations of that old covenant marriage on penalty of death. And that agreement was only made with Israel. Psalm 147, 19 and 20. No other nation did God make that agreement with. And of course Jesus comes along telling us he's come to fulfill the law and the prophets. And in Luke 24 verse 44, the Lord in his resurrected form speaking to the disciples on the road to Emmaus tells us he fulfilled all the law. It was all fulfilled. And according to Matthew 5 verse 18, once all is fulfilled, then that law will pass away. So you need to understand, the law was only a temporary um, interlude to constrain the sin of a sinful and wicked nation called Israel until the promised seed, which is Christ, should be born. Galatians 3 verse 19. And of course, once Christ died on the cross, the law became obsolete. Hebrews 9 verse, uh, sorry, Hebrews 8 verse 13. Christ became the end of the law, Romans 10 verse 4, and upon his death, the, the moment after he released, dismissed his spirit to his father, Hebrews 9 17 tells us the new covenant of grace was enforced. The exchange took place on the cross. One was cancelled, the first was cancelled, the second was activated or enforced fulfilling Hebrews 10 verse 9 where through the psalmist Jesus prophesies I came to remove the first covenant and establish the second. 